Question number three says in the expansion of px square plus 4 over px whole power 5, the coefficient of x to the power 7 is 1280. Find the value of the constant p. So, because we can use the term formula, so instead of expanding it whole, we will be using this term formula to get to the required term. So we have tr plus 1 equals to ncr a n minus r b to the power r. Now substituting in the values, we know what is n, what is a, what is b. So yeah, n is 5, c r, a is px square and n minus r means 5 minus r. And what is b? b is 4 over px <clears throat> to the power r. So what do we do in this? First we take um, like separate the x powers. So 5cr p to the power 5 minus r and x square to the whole power 5 minus r. Then 4 to the power r over p to the power r and x to the power r. Okay, we are just uh, like giving the power, like distributing the power on all the variables or all the numbers that are here. Okay, now what are we supposed to do actually is we should be taking. Only the x, if I could get hmm, any darker version. x, instead let's take this x square to the power 5 minus r. This is x and this is x. So we are focused to get like combine all the x powers to make one whole so just write the rest of it as it is p to the power 5 minus r also this is r so we can just combine the p powers also we can also write like minus r for this then 4 to the power r and x to the power 2 times 5 minus r plus r okay so this will become 5cr p to the power 5 minus 2r 4 to the power r and then x to the power 10 minus 2r minus 2r plus r so it will become x 10 minus r x to the power 10 minus r okay So, what do we need actually? We need the coefficient of x to the power 7. So, what are we going to do? This is your x 10 minus r as the final power of your x. So, what we will be doing? Equating it with x to the power 7 because we need that term that is having x to the power 7. So for that, what will be the power of r? That is what we need to find. So as we have the same basis, so we can equate the power 7 equals to 10 minus r and r will be equals to 10 minus 7 that is 3. So for r equals to 3, we should be finding the whole value for this tr plus 1 okay now substituting in this r value t 
3 plus 1 equals 5 c3 p to the power 5 minus 2 times 3 4 to the power 3 and x to the power 10 minus 3 so this will give you 5c3 is 10 p to the power of 5 minus 6 that means minus 1 and 4 to the power 3 what is 4 to the power 3 64 and x to the power 7 so we will be writing 10 over p times 64 x 7 and 10 times 64 would be 640 over p x 7 so what do what did we had in the start we had that the coefficient of x to the power 7 is 1280 and find the value of p so we have to equate 1280 with this okay so we know Six forty over P must be equals to twelve eighty. So from here getting the value of P, P will be equals to six forty over twelve eighty. So that gives you P value to be one over two or zero point five. There may be any error in this uh, working because we don't have marking scheme right now. So you can check this, but the process or the working, um, well, like the process is correct. The working is correct. There may, might be some mistakes. So you can tell us in the comment box if you have any problem in this. Okay, the rest will confirm when we get the marking scheme.